there is an omnipresent, eternal, boundless, and immutable principle on which all speculation is impossible, since it transcends the power of human conception and could only be dwarfed by any human expression or similitude. So this is the first sentence, and of course we could read that sentence quite fast in a few seconds and say, okay, yeah, sure, there is a principle, maybe we can call it God or whatever we want to, and go on with the study of the fundamental proposition. But as we saw in our previous session, that would not help us from a spiritual point of view. The idea when we are trying to study the secret doctrine as a form of yoga is to take what is being said in a deeper way and to try to 